Hi, this is Current Chuckles coming in here before the video starts to tell you why this video is going to be the shortest one out of all of them. That's because there is a lot of stuff that I cut out of this video. Uh, this is the only video that is almost exclusively stuff related to negotiations and the rest of the videos will have lots more information about the market itself and how to navigate it and the um, the conferences and workshops and all that kind of thing. But this one, this day, was mainly going around with Miyuki and meeting with various people, talking with various people, negotiating with various people, and because of that, and this is something that even though I'm not going to show you a whole lot, I still want to give you a little bit. Um, because it's something that it's important to learn about, which I've been learning about, is that when you discuss certain things, you need to be very hush hush about it. Uh, not just it's not just the fact that um, Spencer and we'll we'll talk about this in a later video. In fact, it's the last video in which Spencer talked about. Yeah, I didn't do much recording, uh, and I mainly wanted him to do recording on the first day anyway. But specifically on the day that you're about to see. Either Miyuki would say this, or the people that we were talking with would say, please no recording, uh, because the, we're going to talk about sensitive business type stuff. And that's also why, even though I talked about it a lot in video when I first recorded it, looking back on it while editing, I'm like, yeah, I should not. <laughs> I should not include this. Suffice it to say, there have been some things to consider. Uh, after what we've been talking about so far, this much I will tell you. Um, based on certain entities that I have talked to and, uh, in fact, corresponded with just recently, like the uh, last couple of weeks or so, there are those who are saying, okay, you should reduce the budget of Yoyaku Yokai, and if you do that, then this company over here could fund the film and distribute the film themselves, but if they do that, they will basically take, this, take the film from you. They will want to control the story. They will want to basically butcher the script and uh, make it kind of make it their own, <laughs> in a way. Turn it into something that they think is... Uh, that is uh, most marketable in their eyes. And uh, I am not down with that idea, as you might imagine. And this is something that you need to consider, of course, because um, if it's just if it's just the artistry, like you're just an artist and that's it, then it's like, well, you can do whatever you want. But of course, when it comes to commerce, when it comes to this art that you are wanting to do for a career, then there needs to be compromise. Uh, this is one of those things that I am not going to compromise on, though. <laughs> Other things, yes, this, no. The budget will look different than what it looks like now anyway, regardless, depending on what the circumstances and the needs of the crew and what you can get done with the project, what maybe some things will be cheaper, maybe some things will be more expensive. So the budget's going to change anyway. It is my desire to have Afro Pictures be a company that makes films, and part of that whole process is creating this film and getting it out into the world through the company and having people look at having people look at and judge it on its own merits and my merits and the company's merits and everyone that we've gotten to come together on it. If it succeeds, I want it to be because of all the work that we have done and because of the trust that I have put in my own story. Not because a third party came in and said, all right, this is what uh, should be done and therefore this will be what uh, uh, gets you success. We will, we will do that and get success that, because this is what success means and this is what we will do to make this film that. And if it fails, I want to know 
that my, my uncompromised vision is what failed, as opposed to someone else taking it over, changing it into something that I barely recognize, and that failing. In other words, I want success or failure on my own terms. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking right now, and that's, again, based on what was discussed on this day. And then other things came about after this day, and again, you're going to see what happens in the end, because this, this is only day three, day two. <laughs> this is only day two. Of, of, of the market and there were many more days to come and so you will see this is a much shorter video and within it you'll see I'm trying to even the bits that I've cut out even though I've cut stuff out the stuff that you're gonna see you'll still see me going like alright trying to speak very carefully <laughs> and trying to be like mm. but there will be a lot more information in the on the coming days and a lot more stuff that's going to be happening and like I said after these videos are done and after the um, uh, introduction to my Star Wars video essay which will be after all the all the um, AFM videos after all of that then you'll get a vlog in which I talk about the thing that I'm currently doing that's going to be an actual project that's going to tie into your Yaku Yokai and actually get us started because this thing that you're going to know about also came about from discussing with certain entities, but after this day. So, that's all that. So enjoy this shorter video. <laughs> Hello everyone, Chuckles here. Day two of the market, and it already feels like I've been doing this forever. Uh, does it feel, feel long to you? Yeah. I've only been... Only well, been three days. Uh, and somehow I haven't been sleeping. That doesn't help. Uh, <laughs> I've been sleeping. I just, uh, last night I stayed up until later than I should have because I was <clears throat> making sure everything was prepared for today. When Miyuki-san came, we went around to various... Uh, Companies that I would not have, well, maybe I would have gotten in to talk to them, but certainly was easier with Miyuki's help since she actually knows them. I'm just, I'm still grateful for having Miyuki as a co-producer. She was a fantastic get from uh, uh, the AFM that we attended in 2017 because she has been able to get us in contact with all these different people as we were talking today, and she was going through like listing all these different companies and like the, this producer and that distributor, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, this person's my friend. Oh, I, I uh, relative who went to school with this person. And, oh, I know this person too. And of course, as they say, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not what you do in this business, it's who you know. So we uh, spoke once again with uh, Ichikawa-san, and uh, Terada-san was there too. Um, Ichikawa reiterated what we talked about um, basically at the end of our trip uh, last year, which was that APIE is, is ready to go on the production end of things as soon as we get the funding. Because as we were talking to Tokyo Film, uh, Film Commission, who, I didn't realize this, but I'm oh, no, sorry, not Tokyo Film Commission, Tokyo Film Commission, hopefully I will be talking to later in the week, but Tokyo Bay Films, it's uh, two people Wilco C. Rollins and Katie Hao Rong. And they're both very um, very much into the Western side of things, which is what their slate of films is all about, is uh, taking um, Japanese essence, basically, but making it for Western audiences. And he described to me that uh, what I'm attempting to do, which is make a film that plays in Japan as well as America, is going to be very difficult. Jonathan Wolf, the managing director of the American film market, he's the one who we all sat the, the, the first day, we all sat in on a uh, uh, conference um, orientation where we got to meet him and talk about things. And afterwards, I talked to him and asked him about something specific uh, related to, because a person in the audience had asked him, 
what's the pros and cons between selling to a UK market and selling to an American market? And he said, oh, it just depends on the film. <laughs> it's like there's no real obvious strengths between either of them that are that apply to all films. It just depends. And so then I asked him afterwards, I went and spoke to him and said, uh, so what about I have a production that is uh, um, a collaboration between Japan and the USA. Should I try to go for both at the same time? Should I try to go for Japan first? Should I try to go for America first? He told me to go for Japan first because an American film with the Japanese elements will play better in Japan than a Japanese film with American elements will play in America. So that's what he said. But now um, Wilco is telling me that uh, the Japanese audiences weren't having his, I don't know what film exactly he was, he didn't, we didn't actually talk about what film he was mentioning. They had a bunch of films there that were playing over here in the West, but a film that he was working on that he says was a collaborative type of thing, Western and Japanese influenced, tried to get it to play in Japan and it would not, at least not in comparison to the numbers in the US. So it's kind of two contradictory things, and uh, I'm so I'm inclined to believe Wilco since he's in basically in the same boat as me. Not the same boat; he's more successful than I am <laughs> currently. He actually has a company that is has a booth at the AFM and all that, but he wants to uh, create films that are hybrids and uh, blend the Japanese sensibilities and American sensibilities, and I'm all about that too. So it's like we have a very similar mindset, and so if he says that it's that what he was trying is not working, and that it might be similar to me, and that I should focus on the American side of things, then well, hmm. then again, Jonathan Wolf has way more experience than both of us combined. <laughs> so, but definitely something that I very much took to heart that they said was that if we can get the script into the hands of a star a star somewhere in America or Japan, because even though they're saying focus on the American part, if we get uh, a Japanese star to read the script and likes the script and attach himself to the film, then the budget might be uh, no no issue. And that's one of the things that Miyuki and I are going to be talking about, seeing uh, the connection, the connections that she has formed and that we have uh, to see if we can get the script eventually into the hands of someone who was, because uh, we already have a, a, a co-director who is interested, and uh, this director is a uh, much more experienced in on the Japanese side of things because he actually directed a lot of J-horror films back in the day, so nice. In fact, one of the films that this guy directed is a film that I referenced in the previous feature that I made, so and he's very interested, so we've got that, and with him attached as he is, perhaps we'll be able to get the the script into the hands of an A-list actor from Japan or America. We'll see. But uh, that is all I really have the energy to talk about right now because I still have a lot of emails to send out yet tonight and I have to make sure and get some more sleep tonight because bright and early in the morning we're going to the finance conference. Okay. Uh, bright, I say bright and early, it's, it starts at 9.15, but we have to walk, or, or take the shuttle at least. So that's what I'm going to do. All these videos are going to be short, and as it turns out that yes, I am not posting them live like I did in the previous um, visits to the AFM. These will all be doled out after I'm back. In which, at which point I will start the vlogs again and go into more detail. So for now, that's it. We'll see what day three holds.